Hi everyone, this is lesson 4.2, critical point, local maxima, and local minima. We will be spending the whole lecture today on the first derivative test. So if we have a function and we have a point x0 on the x-axis, if the corresponding y value for the x0, which will be f of x0, is less or equal to fx, for all x in some interval containing x0, then this point at x0 is considered to be a global minimum of a function. In particular, any global maximum is also a mac uh, local maximum, and any global minimum is also a local minimum. From the graph, you can see this point right here is a local maximum, this point is a local minimum, and this point is also a local maximum. However, since this local maximum is larger in the extent of y value than any other local maximum, then this will be the global maximum. I'm going to go into example 1. For the function y equals to x to the power 4 minus 8x cubed plus 18x squared, determine all the critical number. Determine whether these value of x give a local maximum, local minimum, or a neither for the function. So when we have to do the solution, first we have to find the derivative of this original function. And if we work out the algebra, then the derivative will be 4x times x minus 3 squared. To find the critical number, we have this derivative equal to 0 in order to find the horizontal tangent of the slope of equal to 0. So when we do that, we get x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 3. Since both of these x values are in the domain, since a polynomial, the domain is x belongs to all real numbers, now we have to write out sort of a table of values, in which first column we have all the equation that was involved. In the next column, we have x is less than 0. In the third column, we have 0 is less than x is less than 3. And the last column, we have x is bigger than 3. Therefore, 0 and 3 are the critical points. So when we plug x is less than 0, any number that less than 0, and we plug it into the equation of 4x, we get a negative value. And we do this for the other two intervals as well, as well as for all of the equations. Next, what we have to do is determine whether or not the polynomial is increasing or decreasing at the given interval. How we do that is we multiply out all of these positive and negative. So we have negative times positive, that's a negative number. A negative number times a negative number, that's a positive number. Then a positive number times a negative number, therefore it is decreasing. So if it's negative, it will be decreasing. In the second column, we have positive times positive, that's also positive. Positive times positive, again positive, and positive times positive, therefore it is increasing. In the third one, we have positive times positive. The third one's exactly like the second one, therefore it's increasing as well. So we have this graph that kind of decreases when x is less than 0, and then suddenly increases when x is bigger than 0, and keeps on increasing when x is bigger than 3. So we say that there's a local minimum value of the function x equal to 0, and how we know that is we can sort of connect these two fragments of the curve, and you will get a minimum. In terms of x is equal to 3, there is neither a local maximum nor a minimum. So that's the end of this lecture. Thank you guys for watching.